Whether you work in the security of a laboratory or out at a crime scene, your number one rule when seizing and securing evidence is to preserve it to the best of your ability. When it comes to digital evidence such as cell phones, this rule should be your first goal. In this short introductory video from BK Forensics, I'm going to demonstrate for you a magical piece of technology that will help you reach this goal. Why block the cell phone signal? A cell phone is a device for communications. You just seize this device and it's up to you to preserve the data. If the phone is left on and the cell signal is not blocked, what's going to happen? At a minimum, incoming phone calls, text messages, and email are just a few of the events that can take place. When you secure evidence, you also have to preserve it. That means you must prevent records from being overwritten or letting incoming text messages or picture mail fill up the limited amount of memory found on most cell phones. So you might be asking yourself, why not just turn the phone off or pull the battery? For starters, the device might have a password on the SIM card or have a keypad lock. Maybe your situation requires the phone to stay on. At BK Forensics, we have researched and found a useful product we call the phone mesh. This specifically fabricated mesh has a unique metal coating and a combination of tightly woven fabric that gives it flexibility like cloth, but the shielding ability like a lead box. Using the phone mesh is very easy. First, you must completely unfold the mesh from the bag, place the mesh over the phone, and wrap the phone from behind the device being careful not to crimp the mesh, but creating as many folds in the fabric as you can. Your goal is to keep the chaotic RF signals from finding their way through any open holes. The RF blocking effects do not happen instantly. Depending on the quality of the cell phone's antenna and the ambient strength of the nearby cell tower signals, it may take up to 30 seconds. After you have secured your cell phone using the phone mesh, and preventing it from connecting to the network. The next step is to put the phone in airplane or offline mode. Keep in mind that some phones do not support this feature, but most do. The phone mesh is transparent enough that you can use the standard navigation keys of the phone as you would normally while still protecting the phone from RF signals. With the phone unable to reach the network, you can now safely navigate all features of your device taking handwritten notes, or video and still frame captures of your examination process. Thank you for watching this quick tutorial from BK Forensics. Check out www.bkforensics.com for more tutorials like this.